they're hovering around that 70 75 feet length jack nothing real long yet and nothing really short I don't think I've seen a real short end played yet in any of the televised games it's it's been um, pretty much three-quarter you know when Lee Schroen is playing it's going to be ditch to ditch Considering how much airtime Lee Schroen has had, I'm almost expecting him to photobomb this. Have a look at this. <laughs> That's a great ball. Oh. There's a real elegance about Kylie's delivery. It's just... It, it's, it, it, it's elegant, I think, is probably the best way I can describe it. Hmm. Everything's going out on the right line. She's got her eyesight out there. She's got her hand finishing out there. Front foot stepping out right on the the best possible grass line she can see. And I don't think she looks at the jack because she's got real good deft control of her grass. Like, that's really good grouping. Yeah, very good bowling. Now that's... Going at it once, might as well do it again. She's well pointed here. So that backhand you were talking about, Graham? Yeah, I just I think she's she's you really like playing it. that well. That's a good ball. I reckon that you'll see Kylie switch over here onto her backhand. I think she loves her forehand. Kylie. Yep, I think that's that's her strength. We'll see what she does with this, and she be get she gets a close ball in here, which she's going to do. Yep, look at this. That's a good shot too. Probably hasn't got a weakness. <laughs> we haven't seen her drive yet. She hasn't needed to. Very few weaknesses shown in 2017 by Kylie Whitehead. She might be happy Gilmore on the drive. <laughs> <laughs> now, just a little overreaching here. Chance to get four here, really. Yes, and I don't think she's got any real danger in playing it, even if she's tight under her own bowl. Mm -hmm. To her own bowl to push Lisa's out with the right weight, she'll stay for four. She needs to and play that you, meter over, doesn't she? It's a pretty tight four if she gets it too, because there's nothing more than a foot away. Not quite enough. Oh gosh, that's great. Balls. Good grouping. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's two and a measure for a third. We'll see Kylie get to double figures here. Only two. Two. So Kylie Whitehead, 10-3. She leads with 21 up in the Stella Vic Open women's singles final. A reminder, after this, the men's singles final, Lee Schrainer attempting to win his third 2017 Stella Vic Open title. He's already taken the men's triples. The mixed pairs, can he win the men's singles? Lee Schreiner versus Mitch Sidebottom coming up after this. Probably the biggest game of Mitch Sidebottom's bowling career. Yeah, probably. He likes to, he stays very composed and likes mm. to stay under the radar. He is a Golden Valley champion of champion singles and he's won the Golden Valley singles a few years back. Always goes deep in all the Golden Valley events when he plays singles, so. The key to Mitch's success is he's always got bowls in the head. Yep. Speaking of which. She's jumped out there on that backhand too, which is... Trying to make that side of the green her own. Lisa trying. You're not bad. In the ballpark. Kylie doesn't want to finish a bowl on the outside of the jack and make it a little bit more inviting for Lisa to play a little bit of weight. 
Let's have a look at this. Awesome. Yep. Good spot. Good spot. Just on the, the narrow side of that front bowl. Kylie draws a backhand toucher here. She could hold three. Beautiful line. Yeah, she played better weight too. Doesn't want the jack now. Yeah, she played that perfect trail weight, didn't she? Alright, Lisa's at it. She wants it. Got and she result. sliced it, yep. Got a result. Good shot. beyond her to draw this. Pick the line, but just not the length. Now it's a must that Lisa draw another shot here. Yeah, she's got the result with her third bowl. Time to add to the head. Take away a multiple. Pretty well down. Yeah, it is looking good. Great shots. Well done. Well done, Lisa. Yep, well deserved. Pick up two. She needed that too. She needed a, a multiple and she got one. Well, she's in touch now, like she's in reach, five behind, no ends in this. She's just got to stem the tide that Kylie was putting up before her before. Lisa Critton from Tiny Club Lake Boga, 50 people, 50 members of the club, and two women in the women's single semi-finals here at the 2017 Vic Open. They played each other and Lisa Critton beat Judy Wilson in the semi and she's here on the big stage on the show rink against triple state champion Kylie Whitehead. This is just about be our longest end of the match here. Lisa determined on that inside hand of the green. Well, the, th the thing we've noticed with Lisa, she hasn't really been dropping very many short no. bowls. She's been going through a lot. So maybe this longer end might suit her delivery and the way she's been playing. Got a good weighted bowl. Foot short of jack high. Kylie confident that that's not in her way. Yep, good ball. That's that ball just sort of eight to ten inches in front, half covering the jack. And once again, Lisa's on the mat and she's under pressure. Very good. Just played that superbly. Right shot. Played a screamer there. Looked quick out of the hand to me. Mm -hmm. it's, but it's a much longer end, so she knew what she was doing.
Kylie's tightened her line slightly here. Didn't get out to that red mark on the green. Hence she's cut the line. She won't be happy with that. Sets herself a very high standard. Kylie take a chance here. Still think she's tight. Mm. Go that by wide, she's too going narrow. By her last ball, she's just about played the same. Yeah. She's going that tight. She needs to go a little bit heavier. Those marks on the green are a good indicator. Yep, I think that's a good, good decision. This coming up to see where a where a bowl is and how far away. What damage she can do. nearly three o'clock there is the next closest bowl I after the two near the jack and if she's having a look at that she might have a look for the pink bowl mm. takes her own off the head the only, the only thing she doesn't want to do is touch that bowl through the jack if she does that and it goes through to the could ditch, be two down she could drop a couple got a buffer a five shot buffer at the 10th end of this match she leads 10-5 Okay, that's better grass, mm. better line. She's corrected. Oh, Kylie. It's a very nice ball. Perfect line. That's one to Lisa Critton. She's won three out of the last four ends. Pegged it back from 8-2 down to now be only 6-10 be, behind, trailing by four shots. She's alive in the game. We're here in the uh, women's singles final. Hope you're enjoying your our uh, Bowls Victoria live stream coverage. The 2017 Stella Vic Open. Live from Shepparton Park Bowls Club under the roof here. And our thanks to Greater Shepparton City Council for their continued support of our event, of our growing event, one of the fastest growing sporting events in the country. Just a reminder, our coverage brought to you by our friends at Aussie Gutter Protection. So if you've got birds in your roof, contact them. They'll provide a 100% bird proofing guarantee. one 800 Liz has swapped over. Taking a little bit off. 
see the reason why you would swap mm. there. Nothing, nothing in the way. If you're only trying to draw to the jack, you're not bringing that bowl in on a trail. Kylie's staying there. She just wants to correct her weight. She had good line. Looking a bit more direct, but I still don't think she's got the weight. Right. Be careful here. She's got two in front. Touch of the jack here for Kylie. Just makes those just that much more shorter of the head. This is a beautifully guided bowl here. Just gone through as well. Yeah. Very similar to her first. Now, if... I think Lisa's got to watch out here. I don't know what Kylie's like getting bare jacks, but <laughs> if um, Lisa doesn't put a one behind... Well, she doesn't want to lay shot jack high with no balls behind the head. Mm, she can play that nice trail shot on the forehand, couldn't she? Trail back a meter. She could be holding. She's probably holding two here. I don't know. Maybe. I don't think it'll be a measure for three. But the one good yeah. thing in her favour here, she's got big gaps between the shot, shot balls and the jack. So. Yeah. Well, she's going forehand. The jack, she's probably not looking to trail the jack. I think she's trying to draw the shot. Yeah, it looks like it, Graham. Just to be to the inside of that. Yep. And she's done that beautifully. Yep, nice save. Two down to one up. That'll do nicely, won't it? Pretty smart bowl, that. Didn't panic. Got on the mat, knew she had to draw the shot. Great execution. Kylie Whitehead out to a five-shot lead. We're 21 up. 2017 Stella Vic Open Women's Singles Final. And this is not the only Bowls Victoria event we've got on over the next little while. The Bowls Victoria is about to run its inaugural Schools Super Series. And that's on tomorrow at 8am to 12 noon at MCCQ Sports Club in Melbourne. So the 25th of November, Saturday 25th of November, 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Tomorrow at MCCQ Sports Club, that's the Bowls Victoria Schools Super Series. So the best young bowlers around, some great schools representatives and Kylie Whitehead gets things rolling with a very nice first shot. Strangled that line. Shame, she had reasonable weight. A little bit of rotation there at the top of her body, swung her arm across the line, so it didn't really go out where she wanted it. Yep. Got to get in there now while the door's still open. I don't know why she's changed over. If she favours her backhand, which it looks to me like she she's might. She's playing her backhand well, isn't she? Yep. See, that's a great well, there shot. There we go. An underlined draw shot, sat the ball off the jack. Maybe she might be better playing the backhand around the clock. Mm. Down both sides of the green. 
Kylie's not here with this. Big chance here. She needs another one on the head. I reckon this is the case. I reckon she's doubting herself yeah, on her is. forehand. She's too worried. She was worried then about playing the backhand and touching the jack to mm. give it away. You've got to get that out of your mind. You've just got to concentrate on trying to get into that, you know, that two-foot area around the jack. Yep, make that's the, not make, a bad effort. Make the opponent play the shot. She's probably set a little funnel up there for the shot to be played. Kylie's got a chance here. If she's inside that front pink bowl, she's got every chance of picking the jack up or sitting out the, the bowl that Lisa sat her off the jack with. So, a few options here. Not without a chance, but she's a just a touch over, over grassed. Now... I think Lisa's front pink bowl beats that side blue bowl. Can she get in there and rest that blue bowl behind the jack? Bit of caution here, chucked it out wide. Gets around that, she's got another shot. Mm, she could have. Well, could be. Looks like two. That, the flat bowl. Yep. Usually wins, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the belly of the bowl that lays flat that you're measuring to. You take it out and see. They still don't look like. Oh, that's um. That's two. See what the market does here. Two shots. Two. Well, there you go. Two to Lisa Critton. She trails by three now. We're 21 up. So we're into the 14th end of this, but ends don't matter. The end result does. 21 up. But Lisa Critton from Lake Bogue, she's, she's acquitting herself well. She's certainly, Kylie's putting her under more pressure, gents, but, but she's acquitting herself very well in in this situation. And I suppose when, you, when you're in this situation, you probably think to yourself, well, you know, players of, of this standard, she, she beat Lisa Phillips 21-19 in the quarterfinals. So she clearly knows she can do it. She yeah. can do it here. She was probably up for a fight with, with Lisa. You know, want opportunity to play against a, a name player. Good bowl here. Yep, good start. That's where you got to be. You know, she might have got the rub of the green against Lisa. Um, if she's played the big ones when she's had to and Lisa couldn't, there's a difference. Time to wave. double up. Don't even think about changing here, Lisa. Yep. Play to turn your own. Just around that, you're in the... With just a foot of weight, you're in the ball pen. Yep. It's in the same area again. She needs to keep on running, though. She's got it. Yep. Handy Touch. bowling. This Touch. is good. Probably two. Nearly got a caterpillar going there. Bold, nearly <laughs> resting on her first one. Kylie Whitehead can do some real damage here with just a little touch on the jack around the corner, but she's tight, but she's got oh, the result. I oh. didn't see that. <laughs> oh, wow. The weight was perfect to mm. get that. It wasn't too quick. I wouldn't uh, change if I was Lisa. 
No, that's good. She's played two there. A little bit more weight. Slightly tighter line. Yeah, that's Which what she's, she's doing. Done. That's what she's doing. She'll get a result here. Must oh, get a result a here. Oh, wow. I, I, I don't know what size bowl she uses, but there wasn't much room for a size bigger. Wow. That's a six-pointer. Yep. When you don't want one. It breaks your heart when you do that. Oh. You do that in a team's event, and your skip says, play the same bowl again, and I say, no, thank you very much. <laughs> Because the hole's still Kylie. there. Kylie. Ah. Oh, it's a great shot. Very nice. This has made it harder now. There's a chance there on her forehand if she gets a half a piece of each bowl here to sit them both through. That's too high. It's coming in now, though. Look at this swoop. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, she really needed the inside of that jack eye bowl, didn't she? Yeah, and she look, she even could have played the other hand too. Lots of options here. Gave it a chance. Can Kylie Whitehead punish her? Looking pretty good. Beautiful bowling. It's only four shots. Very close. Yep, well played. That turns a head right around when you do that. It was a measure for two. Take the measure out yourself and make it nearly four. Three shots. Four shots. Four shots. Four shots of Kylie Whitehead. And she's zeroing in on 21. Kylie Whitehead leading Lisa Critton. 15 to 8 in the 2017 Stella Vic Open Women's Singles Final. Our live stream coverage brought to you by Aussie Gutter Protection. Keeping leaves and debris out of your gutters. Contact Aussie to find out more on 1300 885525 or at the website aussiegutterprotection.com.au. I think that's a, a better head we've seen today, Graham. Lisa's good work there that she'd put together over the last three or four ends, all undone there and dropping a mm. multiple, like in the maximum multiple too. So she'd be disappointed with that. She's probably a bit fired up. <clears throat> Suddenly, the foot goes down on the throat here with that. That's the best bowl in singles, the one that's a toucher covering the front of the jack. This really puts the pressure on from the first bowl. Well, wow. tell you what though, it's coming to the occasion. Oh, Lisa, oh. over a foot. <laughs> wow, that's a great try. Wouldn't we all want a delivery like Kylie? Yeah. How nice is it? It's it's just beautiful to watch, isn't it? It's just beautiful. There's a symmetry and an elegance about it. It's it's just fantastic to see. I just love the tempo of her delivery. She controls her weight so well, you know, she's mm, yeah. she's in total control every time she plays a bowl. Here we go. It's going to spit the jack out of you. Yep, that's a great shot. Well, well played. played, Lisa. Got enough of the bowl on the edge to just move the jack slightly. Keep her bowls in the general area. And open up that shot bowl. So Kylie's got to be careful. She's got to get another one close. Doesn't want to sit alongside her other because I don't think Lisa would hesitate to have a whack. I could, yep. watch, I could watch her and Lee Schreiner all day long. Yep. Look at that. I could agree. It's just oh. magic. Well, that's magic. If I was Lisa, I would have come up and had a look at this. 
There's been too many questions asked in this singles game. Yeah, she's she's wayward here with the weight. I would have come up and had a look at that. There was an opportunity there through that bowl on the centre line, push the shot through, maybe get a part, a part of the other bowl that's just jack high. I just think, tended to think she rushed that. Yes, we can definitely see what's going on at the other, other end. And so can all you viewers, but I don't think Lisa can see the head as good on the map. Just a nice, slow, lazy draw there that Whitehead's bowl, the last one. Just got to be careful here. Tell you what, she's well pointed here. She's in the park. She got her own over. She's got to hit her heart. Yes. She's got it. Well played. Oh, very Great well shot. Done. She's still hanging in there, Guy. She yep. is. She's, she is under pressure, but she's delivering. Um, all bit six shots down now. Um, the multiple last in heard over at Lisa Crutton. Trails 15 and 9 in the race to 21 for the Vic Open Women's Singles Championship. Can Lisa Critton do this for Lake Boga? Definitely the biggest match she's played in her career. For Kylie Whitehead, it would be a fourth major championship in a year. One here, and then she's obviously got a, a couple more to come at Marimbura at the uh, Australian Championships next week. I think she can. I, I, I was very impressed with the way she, she held her medal there. She made the correction weight-wise on her third bowl that she played with her last and played a delightful shot with the right weight. And you don't get those shots easy. Just turned the bowl down the centre line slightly to get it close to the jack. So she's got the shots there. She's just got to get control on that dead draw weight. Yeah, I, I think Lisa's been playing... The last eight bowls have been very good. She's definitely got the hang of things. I think she knows what she wants to do, determined to do it. My only... Uh, query is sometimes best to go down and have a little bit of a look before you play it. Just a low, an over correction. The art of any part of the sport of bowls is if you're not close with your first ability to be able to correct with your second and subsequent bowls after that. Kylie's looking for a couple of feet She's yeah. found that. She's got it. Ooh, a little bit of a s slide off that bowl. Definitely didn't want to play two short bowls. Just a bit pushy there through that one. Gave it that little bit of extra. And the right had a good line. These are the dangerous ends when you can't get something within a couple of feet. Mm. And you're leaving yourself under enormous pressure with your last bowl to, to save. Try and find that perfect weight. Mm. Kylie hasn't really applied the cramps, Put the screws on her here. She's still got a little bit of room. Nothing to sit on. Time for Lisa to dead draw the shot here. And bring herself within five shots. Lisa Critton. Not far away. Has she drawn the shot? Close enough. It's very close. It's probably a measure. Something for Kylie to sit on now. Poppy Carlson, pretty good eye. A man who's marked and umpired at several Commonwealth games. Very experienced. Just 
Got to take just an ounce of weight off here, Lisa. Um, Kylie. Lovely slow arc here. Oh, Kylie's played this well. Yeah, here's the shot bowl. She's taken oh, the, taking the measure out of it. <laughs> One now and a look for two. I think Bob Carlson called it. No, it's only one. Just the one to Collie Whitehead. Seven shot lead now. Certainly be uh, plenty of the folks back in the ovens and Murray. She has a lot of support locally from all the bowlers up in that region. She's a very popular young lady, Kylie Whitehead. There'll be a lot of love from the ovens and Murray for her here to get the job done. She's got a seven shot lead in the race to 21. It's time now, Lisa. You've got to get a front one. Put one right on top of the jack. And let's see what Kylie responds with. Because Coley hasn't played a weighted shot. No, she hasn't needed to, I don't think. There was one in where I thought she was going to, but she played a, a nice metre through. But yeah, she hasn't played a proper weighted shot as of yet. Not taking any chance there with that bowl on the forehand. Turning it over. Great shot. Yep. Touch that in, is she? She's going to guts that and oh. push it up for another one, which is the best one now. Ouch. Wry smile on her face as that was turned up. But she's really putting herself under some pressure here. Kylie's only five away from the Magic 21. She's holding a couple of them here at the moment. Lisa, you need a big bowl here. It's third shot. Kyle, he'll just use that as a cider. Be to that. Sit on it, just at the inside of it, and it's another shot. Okay. You need this one, Lisa. If she does nothing here, this could put Kylie Whitehead on 18. Yep. Good shot. I think she's only one down. That one shot to Kylie Whitehead puts her in the position now where if she can smother the jack would score a four and go out well and truly on the springboard. Sensing a little blood in the waters of Lake Boga, gentlemen. I wonder if Kylie Whitehead can immediately put the pressure on here. Lisa's got to be feeling the pinch here. She's now eight behind against an opponent who's in total control of her weight. <coughs> the 
deep breath. Yeah, no time limit. She can crawl her way back in. But she's probably done something that you'd recommend to most people if your opponent is going okay on a hand and they make a mistake, get on their hand and get in their way. Nothing wrong with that. Gets Kylie thinking now. She's probably going to change. Doesn't like that where it is. I reckon this... It's well weighted, it's very tight. No need to change for Lisa. Turn her own bowl, be out to that last one of Kylie Whitehead's. Give herself a chance. Looks okay to that. Turn your own. Yep. Well played. Tempting there for Kylie to <laughs> play a little bit through, drag the jack, yep. sit the bowl. A few options. Too. Sit the bowl. She's got the full sit on that bowl. Yep. Beautiful shot. Yeah, she had the options there, didn't she? Played the right way. Simple. It's didn't overplay it. Okay. Yeah, just quick. Just quick. She's got the best back bowl. Kylie's got another weighted bowl here. It'll be in the count. That's two. Don't like where she's finished, though. She's given her op opponent an opportunity there to, if she does play tight, nothing for why. If she does play tight, she can split off that and get the shot bowl. She's going for it. Mm. But she's wide, I think. Yep. Ooh. Oh, looks like two from here. Lisa being very polite and measuring for the third. Good angle to see. I think it's only two. Yeah. Yep. Wow. A brace here. Would see Kylie Whitehead claim this title. Lisa's been stuck on nine for the last three ends. The race to 21. Worked, her, worked yeah. herself back into this game and got back to 9.15, but it's been all Kylie Whitehead in the last three ends, scoring four shots. Open up that little break. 10 shot deficit. She can't afford to waste a bowl from here. Just a reminder no time limits in our finals. So we played a 21 regardless. Yep, good start. She's dominated the end count too, Kylie Whitehead. She scored on 12 of the 18 ends that have been played. Her opponent scored on six. But she's got that big margin there because of that four and three that she scored. Seven shots in two ends. And 21 up, that's a third of the score in two ends.
How would you feel if you were a Kylie Whitehead and you tucked that jack around the corner here for two? Well, not with this bowl, but she came with her next. Mm, beautiful weight. But yeah, that's the idea. Hide it. Out of sight. Usually when it's out of sight and you're holding game, it's out of reach. Yep. And all you can do is play weight. Yep. Now Lisa's narrow again. She's going to have two bowls over there now. I think she's committed. With the weight of her second there, she's got to play that again. Yeah. Doesn't want to come back to a dead draw and drop short and leave it all up to her last bowl. She's got to play with all the intent and purpose she can to try and make this as hard as she can this for Collie Whitehead. This is what you were White going head. on about, Graham. Oh, she didn't quite tuck it away. Got the wrong side of it. Well, she's got to be playing f backhand now because she's yeah. got a chance here to bring she's the jack through. Four. She's going to have to get the bowls of that. It's all or nothing now. That's what's going through her head. If I was Kylie, I'd be down covering the, the back. She's holding game, doesn't know. Doesn't need to make the target any bigger or give her opponent anything to work off. Well, she doesn't need 22, does she? No. They stop counting at 21. But she's, she's in the rhythm. Focused here on trying to tuck this jack around the corner, I think. That's good bowling. The, the target is bigger. It's whether Lisa can hit it. Well, there's no gaps to go to, through there with the... No. She's out missed wide. She's missed. And Kylie Whitehead is the state women's singles champion, the state women's under-25 champion, the state fours champion. And now, the 2017 Stella Victorian Open champion. Fantastic display of bowls. Lisa looks disappointed, but really as a first up final four at a, in a big event, gave it everything she had. It's been a remarkable ride to get here, Bridgie, for her. Yeah, look, and it's and a big achievement to get to a final. It's, there's a lot of people that didn't get there, and... Uh, she could be pretty pleased with her efforts. Get some prize money. Get some rankings points. Yep, she's done extremely well just to get to the final itself. Absolutely. Big Let alone the prize money behind it. Yeah, and her name's definitely on the board. But what about Kylie Whitehead? I mean, to win three state championships plus this in the space of eight or nine months. It's been an extraordinary time for her. Great bowler. And a, and a wonderful display of bowls. Kylie Whitehead, your 2017 Stella Victorian Open Women's Singles Champion. My name's Guy Hand, and on behalf of co-commentators Graham Bridge and Daniel Nichols, signing off from this match. We'll be back with the presentation very soon. Aussie, Aussie Gutter Protect. Leaves, debris, blocking your gutters? The do-it-yourself attempt wasn't a success? Pests and birds nesting in your roof? Just relax. Help is on its way. Aussie Gutter Protection started way back in 2000. It's a family-run business and it's an industry-recognised leader. Growing every day with more and more homes being protected. Locked gutters can cause flooding inside the house, and that can be expensive. Drains can get blocked, and that can be expensive too. 
Just one small ember from a distant bushfire can be disastrous. Pests or nesting birds can bring disease inside the home. Do it yourself? No. Too many people die or are seriously injured falling from ladders. It's a big problem. This particular homeowner has uh, gone down the DIY path. Um, as you can see, little or no success. Uh, after a short period of time, the gutters are all blocked up. Uh, again, some of it's blown away and uh, missing. Not to mention the danger of actually installing it yourself, height, uh, things like that, falling off a roof. Not a good situation. It's not only leaves that can block up your gutters, pine needles as well. And with this house so close to pine trees, you can see the result. Aussie Gutter Protections Installers are trained to deliver a professional and secure finish to your home or building. Experienced people and great service. Aussie, Aussie gutter protection. Great service is one thing, but let's take a closer look at the product. We're here at the warehouse and I'd like to show you some of the raw materials that we use. Let's have a look. Our commercial grade aluminium 700 specifically designed for Australian conditions and 50% stronger than our leading competitors. And of course, all our mesh is powder coated to meet strict Australian standards. Continuous research and development has gone into making a superior product. Here are two of our competitors' products. And the second one. And here's our specially developed double rib colour bond steel product that is extremely resistant to bending. <laughs> now that's tough. And of course, all our trims and accessories are made from blue scope steel in the full colour bond range of colours. Your location in Victoria, or the type of roof you have, is not a problem. We have all of the materials and the expertise to match your roof to our solution. If you like, Aussie Gutter Protection can send an expert out to your house to take you through the whole process. Aussie Gutter Protection, 16 years in the business, still going strong. Do it properly. It's worth it in the long run. Please contact us now at Aussie Gutter Protection.
gentlemen, we've seen another final conducted in our 2017 Stella Victorian Open. After a, a very, very big week, women's singles and men's singles started last Saturday. And on our last day of competition, seven days later, we now have a singles winner crowned in the women's singles for 2017. Gives me a great deal of pleasure to welcome to the green our runner-up in the women's singles, Lisa Critton from Lake Boga Bowling Club. Lisa. You can sing the Muppet song. <laughs> no, not me. Well done, Lisa. And Barb Gilbert putting the, the silver medal around Lisa's neck, giving her a nice envelope and a big hug. Lisa, it's been a big week for you? It's been a very big week. Um, first time to make the round of 16 and get through to a final. Um, done plenty of finals back home in the Murray Valley and Murray Mallee, but first one here and first big one for in anything really, so yeah. Well done. When did you start playing, Lisa? <laughs> a long time ago, actually. Uh, started playing in Hamilton, Victoria, um, as a junior, of course. So started with school and um, moved up to Swan Hill for work. Gave up for a bit of time and uh, our current club president, convinced me to come and join up when he decided to join up again. So, yeah, here I am now after that. <laughs> and what do you do when you're not playing bowls? <laughs> uh, me, I uh, work in our local Telstra shop. I'm actually a manager there, so, yeah. Right, so tell me a little bit about your pathway through this week. You had a, a sectional round or two last Saturday. Who are some of the people that you met during the week that you were uh, probably pretty keen and eager to play. You've scored a couple of big scalps along the way to get to the final. Confidence must have been sky high. Yeah, definitely. Um, first, Amelia Bruggy, a former Lake Boga player herself. So, uh, had the pleasure of playing with Amelia, but never actually played against her. So, that was my first one. And then, of course, uh, the great Lisa Phillips. Never ever thought I'd ever do that, but uh, managed to roll her on the last bowl. So, very, very happy. <laughs> Look, well done. Thank, congratulations on your pathway through to the final this, this, uh, this week. Be back again next year in 2018? Definitely. Good girl. Good to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, our runner-up, Lisa Critton from Lake Boga. What a year this young woman has had. Kylie Whitehead, three-time state champion in 2017 comes into the Victorian Open this week, probably confident of her ability, looking to get some extra practice in before going to the Australian Championships next week at Marimbula. But she's shown the whole field a clean set of heels this week. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2017 Victorian Open women's singles champion from the Wodonga Bowling Club, Kylie Whitehead. Get on your coils. <laughs> now, Kylie, another big win, another big win, another big week. Nana's here. Yes, always. The whole family. Um, just Nana. Just Nana. Hello, Nana. How are you going, <laughs> Kylie? Confident today going into the final? Um, not really. I guess you can never underestimate your opponent. So. Um, I was confident in my ability, but yeah, I just had to see how the game went and played out. Yeah. All the boys in the commentary team were very complimentary of your delivery. Very slow, rhythmic, follow through. You do everything like a, you're nearly like a female version of Lee Schreiner, very mechanical. It's like a, it's like a machine. You watch the delivery, the weight control, your weight control is exceptional. You work hard at that, practice. Yeah, um, I think that's a compliment. Um, I try, I try to practice as much as I can, work on my game, and obviously the delivery is a big part of playing good balls. So, yeah. And congratulations on your qualifications you've received recently. Looking for a job now. Yes. How do you get? Obviously, if you're not fully employed, you're playing a lot of balls. 
yeah, hopefully I can uh, keep going next year while I'm working, but we'll see how it works out. And what have you got um, in the week ahead up at Marimbula? How many events have you got? Uh, so I'm playing in the singles and the fours up there with my good teammates from Yarrawonga who are here. The Yarrawonga girls. I can see uh, Anne Miles is over there. Claire Sanders is around the place too. But you've got a state game in the week after that too against Tasmania down in Melbourne at Deer Park. You've cemented your spot in the state team with the women. I think you'd be pretty proud of that. Yeah, very. I mean, it's obviously very competitive to get into that side and um, very pleased that I'm in it again. It's obviously a great honour. So see how we go. Hopefully we can get a win over the Tassies. I don't get sick and tired of seeing you win either. I think it's great. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our 2017 Women's Singles Champion, Kylie Whitehead from Odonga Bowling Club. <laughs> Photo in front. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, our two women's singles finalists, Lisa Critton from Lake Boga and Kylie Whitehead from Wodonga. There'll be a short break now before we'll uh, get into the men's singles final, which will be between Mitch Sidebottom from the South Bendigo Bowling Club and the marathon man Lee Schreiner from Rosney Park, Hobart in Tasmania. So looking very forward to that. The girls have warmed the rink up here for the guys. It's our last event for this year's championship. Everybody stick around. I think we're in for a real treat in this last game. So well done. Thank you very much. Aussie, Aussie gutter protection. protection. Great service is one thing, but let's take a closer look at the product. We're here at the warehouse and I'd like to show you some of the raw materials that we use. Let's have a look. Our commercial grade aluminium 700 specifically designed for Australian conditions and 50% stronger than our leading competitors. And of course, all our mesh is powder coated to meet strict Australian standards. Continuous research and development has gone into making a superior product. Here are two of our competitors' products. And the second one. And here's our specially developed double rib colour bond steel product that is extremely resistant to bending. <laughs> now that's tough. And of course, all our trims and accessories are made from blue scope steel in the full colour bond range of colours. Your location in Victoria, or the type of roof you have, is not a problem. We have all of the materials and the expertise to match your roof to our solution.
If you like, Aussie Gutter Protection can send an expert out to your house to take you through the whole process. Aussie Gutter Protection, 16 years in the business, still going strong. Do it properly. It's worth it in the long run. Please contact us now at Aussie Gutter Protection.